Good morning. Bonjour à tous. It has been an eventful, stimulating, and productive year, both for the board and the Laurentian Bank Financial Group. In 2019, the board continued to work with management to ensure the advancement of the strategic plan. Although financial performance was negatively affected, the significant progress made over the past year on our transformation in particular the progress made towards new core banking, digital, and the new labor relations environment, has reinforced the confidence that the board has in the group's overall strategy and its leadership. Moving the organization forward to meet the changing behaviors of customers, focusing on digital offerings and advisory services is a sound strategy and a clear way forward into the next decade. My fellow directors and I believe that the four-year foundational steps that have been completed will bring the group closer to its goal of enhancing growth and achieving sustainable performance over the long term. The board recognizes the need for sound corporate governance and its role in ensuring that we do business in an effective, ethical, and transparent manner. Let me share a few thoughts on what that has meant to us. Steps have been taken to better incorporate feedback received from shareholders and to enhance governance through various initiatives. This led us to implement majority voting, to adopt a diversity policy, and a board renewal approach with 60% of the independent directors being appointed over the last five years. Our outreach initiatives helped us to understand common areas of concern, the majority of which were addressed through enhanced disclosure. Specifically, we have provided improved transparency and additional information with respect to our short-term and long-term incentives. Following last year's AGM, the bank offered to engage with the 25 largest institutional shareholders who collectively represent 92% of total institutional shareholdings. Our discussions have been fruitful and mutually beneficial. In addition, during 2019, significant changes to our compensation policies came into force to include increasing the level of at-risk pay for executives. This creates a strong pay-for-performance relationship. Among other things, we implemented a streamlined design of long-term incentives, which makes a higher percentage of compensation at risk and lengthens the time horizon for our long-term incentives. As we are now midway through the rollout of the strategic plan, the board has also completed a review of and has updated the composition of its board committees and is in the process of reviewing its mandates to ensure their effectiveness. I would also like to highlight three key areas of focus for the board, namely cybersecurity, ESG, and regulatory compliance. Laurentian Bank Financial Group has developed disciplined and rigorous policies based on advanced data security practices, which the board considers to be appropriate. With our major transformation towards the digital economy, it is essential that everyone in the organization becomes more knowledgeable in cybersecurity. All directors have completed comprehensive training this year on the subject. With respect to ESG, environment, social, and governance factors, the board supports the group's initiative to advance the development of its plan and the hiring of an external expertise to enhance its disclosure and build a roadmap leading to the adoption of the recommendations of the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosure. We are pursuing these worthwhile initiatives commensurate with the size and resources of our organization. Regarding regulatory compliance, the group completed a review of their committee governance framework as well as a review of the corporate policy framework 
to adjust global governance in the context of the digitalization of the bank's offering and of a continuously evolving regulatory environment. Additionally, key risk indicators were put in place and or improved to meet new regulatory requirements and to ensure risk measurement is consistent with the group's transformation. Please allow me now to comment on how Laurentian Bank Financial Group is responding to the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. I first want to state that this situation has been appropriately and carefully prioritized by the board and the leadership team. It is the board's responsibility to ensure that robust business continuity plans are in place across the organization. It is reassuring that these plans, in place to continue operations when major events arise, were activated by management and rolled out swiftly and proactively. As every scenario is different, management has adapted these plans to deal most effectively with the specific challenges that a global pandemic pandemic presents. We continue to closely monitor developments and are taking all necessary measures to protect our team members and customers. Despite the impacts this pandemic will have on the global economy, we have put in place measures to ensure the organization weathers the storm. The board will continue to work with management to make appropriate changes to its strategy based on this new reality, one where the world has hit the pause button and where there is economic uncertainty. I would at this point like to take the opportunity to welcome Ms. Andrea Bolger and Mr. David Mowat, who joined the board last August. Ms. Bolger has extensive expertise in strategic direction and risk management in Canada's largest financial institution. Mr. Mowat headed the largest financial institution in Alberta, where he oversaw the replacement of its core banking system and IT infrastructure. I would also like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to Mr. Michel Levine, who left the board in March. Mr. Levine was appointed to the board in March 2013 and was a key member of the Human Resources and Corporate Governance Committee. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I would like to thank him for his valuable contribution during his mandate and wish him the best of luck in his projects. On behalf of my fellow directors, I would like to thank Francois Desjardins, our President and Chief Executive Officer, as well as the other members of management for their vision, ability, and resilience to successfully lead the group to its current success during the most significant change in its history, and now even more so through a worldwide pandemic crisis. The team has enthusiastically embraced the responsibility to move the organization to the next level by tackling foundational and strategic elements that if unaddressed, would have held LBCFG back from attaining its full potential. Their resolve and dedication is to be commended. I would also like to sincerely sincerely thank all Laurentian Bank Financial Group team members during this time of crisis. Their commitment, their professionalism, and care for our customers is remarkable. Un grand merci à tous les membres de l'équipe du Bank Laurentian Group Financier. Votre professionalism, engagement, a support of our no clients, a remarkable. I would be remiss not to acknowledge the efforts of my fellow directors, whose valuable advice is essential to our success. I also wish to express our appreciation to our shareholders and customers. Their loyalty and trust are essential to accomplish our mission. Thank you.